Yeah, um, great offensive performance. Um, thought the guys were shot the ball with a lot of confidence. I thought they shared it, and that was a great offensive performance. Proud of the guys. You know, I told them, you know, we can, we've been able to win games ugly, and sometimes it's nice not to ha have them not to be ugly. So we've won them ugly, 60 points to 47, 62 to 50. We've done that, but the night was, you know, our offense really, really showed up. Um, you know, certainly there's things we can improve upon, but I'm, I'm proud that the guys were able to share the ball and be so confident with, with their approach on the offensive side of it. What do you think, what do you think turned, turned, uh, turned the tide? Like 28 minutes, it's like trade well, basket, trade basket, trade well, basket. Well, I mean, I just, you know, we, we had a big win uh, the other night against Townsend, and I told the guys the last two days it's going to be all about our energy level. Like, this is a good team coming in. Delaware's improved. The coach does a great job with his team. Uh, you know, you're going to have to keep your hammer out and you're going to have to chip away at it. And it might take a long time before they go away. I told them that. I mean, I felt it. I felt it from watching films uh, of their games. You know, they've got some really quality good wins. Um, and so what I thought may happen, happened. The levy broke after a long period of time. So it was slow, took a lot of chipping. And uh, eventually in the middle of the second half, it just opened up. The floodgates opened. Looks like Jarrell's coming into his own. I guess three games in. Well, fourth game, and um, you know, he's playing well. I mean, that's back-to-back -back games where he is very efficient. His percentages are high. Uh, you know, hadn't really forced a lot. You know, every now and again he'll try to go make a play, but you know, most times the shots find him. So, <clears throat> you know, just really pleased with his confidence, and he's a hard worker, so he deserved to, to have the success that he's having. Did you think defensively you guys were okay, average? You know, I thought, the fir I thought the first half, you know, again, it just took us a while to get going. But I, I, I told the players I thought we were going to play against one of the better post players in the league. That was another thing I said. I think this kid is one of the best post players in the league. Well, I mean, he was good. He's a red shirt junior. He's <laughs> big and strong, and he can really score. And, uh, you know, we, we said, hey, look, we're not going to help down in the post. Everything's going to be one on one. We don't want the perimeter guys making shots. We don't. We don't want you to foul a big guy, but it's going to be one on one. And if he make a shot over you with outstretched hands, we'll take it. Just don't give him angles. So, you know, um, at the end of the day, I think that uh, the first half, you know, they were good. They were efficient offensively, which they always are. They average 75 a game. Um, thank God we could keep right up with them and score 43 uh, in the first half. And then, like I said, second half, I thought we played really well. Talking about the road trip coming up, you will face Towson again. Well, I'm not worried about Towson. I mean, we got Drexel on um, Friday, and so that's all I'm worried about right now. This is Drexel. We got Drexel. That's the next game. We hadn't played them yet. It's another improved program. Uh, you know, Zach Spiker does a great job, and he's got a good team. They lost tonight to UNC Wilmington, but it doesn't matter. It's the next game. I'm sure they're gonna give us their best shot based on, you know. When we play these teams, they, they've been giving good shots at us. They've been swinging a good bat. And so uh, we got to be ready to play. And that game is on Friday. Hopefully the weather allow us to get out and that we'll have a chance to play that on Friday. Do you think that um, kind of convincing the guys that you're going to get everybody's best shot because you guys are the favorite, is that kind of half, not half the battle? Is that some of the battle? Well, this year? yeah, I mean, you know, we talked about, we've been talking about that the last two months that, you know, we got to embrace the fact that people are going to really come after us as a target. Okay, if you pick at the bottom of the league, a lot of times you can slip in and win a game. But when you pick at the top of the league, I mean, everybody know you picked at the top. And they look at all these little rankings, these different websites, and they want to play you. So they're excited about playing you. So for us, we can embrace that. But the most important thing is just to make sure we bring out, try to bring our A game so we don't go into a, a building and we're not ready to play and that team is treating the game like a Super Bowl. Uh, so we talk about that. We've been talking about it the last two months. That's one of our challenges. That's a new challenge. None of us have ever experienced that. We've always been down at the bottom trying to look up and climb out of a hole. But now we got to make sure we're ready to play every night. You talked about the defense, but were you – they had to take – did you think they had to take as many contested shots as you would have wanted? Yeah, I think the first half they took some contested shots. Yeah. You know, I Thanks, think that uh, – yeah, they made some contested shots. They had a handful of uh, contested shots. The, the things that hurt us in the first half was the two, they had two offensive rebounds where we did a good job on post D and we did all this with our hands up and then they shoot it and they get it back and stick it in. That happened twice. And then we broke down one time on a ball screen where they went and laid it in. So it was about six points. If you take that away, 
then you say, hey, you know, we would have won, we would have won that half, 38-43, and then we maybe we would have won 93-73. You say, wow, unbelievable. So, I mean, I don't think we really played too bad. It just that was a good team that made some shots, and that great post player that they had kicked out butt for a little while. I mean, that's what happened. Couldn't stop them. So, um, but you know, we two and zero. Um, guys hadn't had a day off in about eight days. We're gonna take a day off tomorrow, and we're gonna watch film on Thursday and prepare, and travel up to Drexel and, and try to see if we can have a good game plan to have some success. I know it's the game after, but Cows, if you play them less, you play them in a week uh, after you last time you played them, good or bad, or I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, yeah. you know, we got we got Drexel on Friday, so I really don't know. Uh, you know, we won't talk about them. We won't think about them. I mean, you know, I'm gonna be thinking about Kirk Lee and. You know uh, Austin Williams from Drexel. I mean, like we got a game plan. They're three-two zone. I mean, we got to think about the stuff they're gonna do. So, you know, Townsend, we've already played them. You know, so we'll we'll get to that when it when it comes. You guys, you know, built a reputation on uh, defense and rebounding. Boy, tonight it was shooting and, and offense. Just talk about the the offensive rhythm you guys got into. Uh, yeah, That's for both of you. Uh, yeah, it was just one of those nights. Um, we had it going. Couldn't stop them either for a little while, so luckily we just got good shots. We were moving the ball a little bit, um, and the shots were falling for us. Uh, yeah, we had it rolling. I think uh, we've been having a good week so far, so I think that carried over to today. So it's always good to make some shots. What was it about them? I mean, they, they just seemed at the start of both halves, they, they couldn't miss. I think they hit their first six shots. I, hit, I think they hit their first seven shots in the second half. You gotta give them credit. Coach said they were a good team, a tough team, and they were talented. Um, they hit some tough shots, um, some shots we'll live with. Uh, we try to get guys to shoot contested threes, contested pull ups, um, and they hit some of those throughout the game. The ones we can't live with are the offensive rebounds, the stick backs, and the, the drives for layups. But um, they're a good team, so that's the CAA. Drill, did you guys defensively, how did, how, how did you think you guys did? I think we, we, we defended pretty well as normal. I think they just made a few shots. Like Joe said, they made a lot of contested shots. I'm sure, Coach, when we watch film, there's some things we messed up on, some miscommunications. But for the most part, I think we defended it, but they got a really good team. Was there a point where you guys really felt like you know, the shots were going down tonight and you really felt like you know, things yeah, were Yeah, I, I feel like we stayed in character. And I think as the year goes on, we'll get better. And hopefully, we can keep this up. But, uh, like, we trusted each other, and we didn't do nothing out of character. So I think this is what we can look forward to. I don't know if that high, but <laughs> hopefully we make some shots. Uh, moving forward here, you got Drexel, you got Townsend, you're going out of town. I mean, just I, I probably don't know much about those teams, but just talking about getting on the road and, and, and in this league after winning two here. Yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully we can get up there. I know it'll be snowing. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's the CAA, so every, every team is – Good and we're gunning for you. You know it's gonna be a battle. So Drex was next up, um, and we remember playing them. They're always tough, so they're gonna play hard. Um, and looking forward to the challenge. Talk a little about Towns. Now that you played them one time, and, and what, what were your impressions of them? And well, just like everybody in this league, I think pretty much you can't take anybody for granted. For granted, and they're a really tough team. They fight to the end, so. They're a really good club. They're going to probably want to give you their best shot too, especially after you guys handle them down here. So how do you? Are, are you just expecting that from every team now? Yeah, yeah, expect that from every team, and I, I mean, I wouldn't expect nothing less. But what were the keys for you when you when you won here? Did you think? I uh, got timely stops. I think uh, we didn't get as many as we wanted, but in crucial moments throughout their runs, we got timely stops, um, and it kind of got out in transition. So uh, I think that was the key. Do you like facing them? I mean, this quick back to back, or does it about, matter? Come on, Towson. Uh, we're not honestly they're not next up, so yeah. we're not even thinking about them. To be honest with you.